thing we want to do is is relax our jaw. So one way to think about what we don't want is to clench our teeth. So we'll start by clenching our teeth. And then when you let go, your jaw naturally drops. And so what you want is for your, your jaw to be lower and for your mouth to be slightly open when you run. So rather than clenching your teeth like this, which hurts your head and then tightens up your neck and goes down your back, uh, in your shoulders and, and down in, even into your glutes and your hamstrings, you want your jaw to be relaxed and just your mouth to be slightly open. So when you run, you want your, your mouth slightly open. Then as we work our way down, we, we want our shoulders to be relaxed. Bring our shoulders up as high as possible, and that's not comfortable, but sometimes when we, when we tense up, when someone's gonna pass us, um, or when we don't feel well, we, we pull our shoulders up, and so where we want our shoulders to be is is down to the side. Okay, so we want our shoulders relaxed, not up here by our ears, we want them down and and sometimes even slightly rolling forward or, or slightly back, but definitely not up like that because we want to be as efficient as possible. Uh, another thing to think about is, is our elbows. And so we want our elbows to be uh, at about a 90 degree angle. And so we, we don't want our arms to be opening and closing like that. We're wasting energy when we do that. We want our elbows to be at about a 90 degrees, and then we want to actually drive our, our arms with our elbow back and hand forward, but we're not, we're not doing this. We're keeping it at about 90 degree and driving with the shoulder joint, leading with the elbow to the back. And then as soon as our arms pass our hips, we want to be driving back. We don't want our, our, our hands flying up to our face. We're not, we're not sprinters. We're, we're runners and we want to be as efficient as possible. So we want to think about having our arms to the side, kind of like we're going into our pockets, about a 90 degree angle, driving back, shoulders down, elbows back, back and forth. Then uh, we also don't want our, our hands to, or, and our arms to cross our body like that. So we want to imagine an imaginary line all the way down uh, the center of our body. We don't want our hands to cross that that line we want them on the sides and so one thing you can do when you're uh, in front of a mirror the weight room or even just in your bathroom is just kind of practice running with your arms hard you can use dumbbells for a little more resistance if you want but you want to practice running and you want to make sure that even when fatigued your arms don't start crossing your body like this you want them off to the side 90 degree angle into one pocket out in out in that so uh, you know, a lot of people think that running is all about just the lower body, but what we do with the upper body um, translates and, and extends to our lower body. And so if there's tightness anywhere from the, from the head down, it will, it will go all the way down to the feet. And same, if there's tightness in our feet, it will come all the way up the back of our neck and, and tighten things up. And what we want is to be as relaxed as possible so that our body can move as efficiently as possible. Uh, the next thing we'll work on is running with our, our hands relaxed. And, and so we don't want our hands like this, because again, that causes tightness, which then emanates up the arm, into the shoulders, into the neck, down the back, into the glutes, into the hamstrings, down to the calves and the Achilles and, and into your planner. And that messes up your feet and, uh, and it hurts and it makes you less efficient. So um, we want our hands to, to be slightly closed, but not, we don't want our, our uh, fists to be clenched. We, we want to have our thumbs up and, and touching or, or arm, almost touching our index finger. And so one thing you can think about is if you've ever run by a beautiful dry leaf um, and, and you wanted to preserve that leaf or even bring it home uh, or, or find a piece of paper or a piece of money or something like that, but you don't want to, to damage it. So you would, you would be holding it, it's delicate, it's fragile, it could break, but you still need to hold it well enough to, to get it home. Uh, so, so you're holding it lightly between your thumb and your index finger. So you're holding that, uh, that maple leaf or, or that dried flower or whatever it may be that is delicate, that would crush if we, if we clenched. So you, you just hold it lightly, thumbs up, and if you have your thumbs up, it keeps your elbows in, um, which keeps uh, your arms from crossing. So it all, it's all connected. And so thumbs up and uh, thumb touching the index finger and just really lightly uh, keeping everything relaxed. If your thumbs are uh, inside like that, it causes our elbows to go out, which then often leads an imbalance where you're crossing the body and then 
Um, you know, that's just inefficient. Basic physics says if you, <laughs> what's in motion, you know, continues in motion. So if your body, if you, one arm is pushing your body that way, it then has to overcompensate to go this way. One is forward motion. So by driving our arms forward and back, it, it, it drives our body forward. Um, and so we're maximizing that efficiency there in that moment. So that's what we've got from head to waist. And then uh, the other thing you want to focus on is running tall and uh, with that relaxed jaw. And so you, you, there can be a slight lean, but it shouldn't be at your hips. It should be more down at the heels. Your feet should be underneath your hips. Uh, that's where you want your foot to strike and, uh, and you want to run tall. So you're not leaning in forward like that, looking down. You're not turning back like this. You're not leaning at the hips. You're just up tall, maybe a slight lean at the at the heels, but uh, but you're tall, and uh, and then from there you're running um, with your with your feet and your legs, but but a lot of it if you if you're relaxed up top and you've got proper form up top, uh, your your feet and your legs will follow suit.